Hi everyone, it's Aaliyah again. Welcome back to my channel. I am coming on today. Let me move these right here. I just love them, so I'm going to keep them there. Um, I'm coming today to share a project that I just finished creating for somebody. Um, hopefully, for somebody, if she likes it. So I was asked to do um, a journal for her dog who and then I had asked what the breed was and the breed is a whippet and I never knew what why well, I, I wasn't familiar with it but she had told me that it was kind of like a greyhound but smaller so I googled lots of pictures and kind of try to read up a little bit about them and so this is what I came up with the thing is with this is I couldn't find an actual dog kit to do it um, and the ones that I found were a little too mm, cutesy for me. So I basically made a journal and then embellished it with pictures. So I'll show you. Uh, on the front here, actually, let me just take this off. I sewed on the picture of this dog, which I really like. I think he or she is really cute in the eyes and everything. And then this piece here was actually from a kit that I did find and it says it's not the size of the dog in the fight it's the size of the fight in the dog and that's a quote by Mark Twain and then there's some little puppy paws here um, and I I really like this and it was blank above so perfect to put the picture in there the only thing is that on the back side <laughs> there's a little other dog but you know it's okay he can just be friends with this dog so Let's get inside. Um, oh, and the inside paper here is, um, oh gosh, one of, I don't remember what kit it was, but it's from Optic Illusions. It's a little shop on Etsy that I have used before. So in the beginning here, I made a little booklet and I found this and it's really cute. It's kind of like a, a magazine cover. It says, sweet natured, loves luxury couch potato polite playful docile the whippet intense burst of speed so inside is just a bunch of different coffee dyed papers that can be used in here or you can use it separately and just kind of take notes you could throw it in your purse even and you know take it with you wherever you go um but i, I did clip it in just in case she wants to keep it in the book and then this page is a little bit long so i folded it over and on the bottom here it says, this life belongs to, and I thought that the dog's name could go there. So that just clips back on here. All right. So I here's another picture that I found. I put a little vintage button on the bottom, and then tucked these two here. I love this picture. That's really cute. And then I just added some crocheted trim on the top. Just to get, it's like a little fancy picture, so I wanted to give it a little something extra there. And then these paper, this little cutout, I got from my friend Alicia. And um, it's coffee dyed, but just like the color theme, I thought went perfect with the papers that I have in here. So I took that in for some journaling on the back. And I know that she wanted a space to kind of put pictures and probably document everything about the dog. So I did try to leave as much blank space as I can so she can write or she can add the pictures. And then this flips out here. And then I have another picture of that um, little fancy picture. There's some writing paper here. And then this here is another picture that I found. I added a little lace onto it because again, I kind of felt like this is like a fancy picture. And then here's another one here. And you can journal on the back of this. This is an off cut, folded it and around the corners, but I thought that'd be nice to journal inside there. So I did that. And here, I love, there's two vintage ads in here that I absolutely love. So here's the first one, and I don't know if you can be able to see the whole thing, but I love that image. And again, it's blank on the back, so you can, or she can write on it. 
And then this is something new that I did. Well, first of all, that's the same picture, but I love it. But what I did is I sewed the top, but it can flip up kind of like a tip-in, and then you can journal underneath. And then even, actually, since this is cardstock, you could also put a picture up here, too. And then it flips back down. And here's another little journaling card. And this is another one of the vintage ads. And I just sewed around the three sides and then I stuck an envelope in um, with another piece of like note card, not note card paper, like a journaling card uh, from Alicia. But you can also, there's more room to put other little goodies and stuff that you might want in there. And that tucks right in. And here's another image here. And then here is this tag. Um, and the funny thing is that this dog has the same head as my dog. Like if she wasn't such a jerk, I'd probably try to turn the camera on her, but I don't know where she is. And she'd probably try to bite the camera anyway. But that's what kind of like what my dog looks like. <laughs> so this is a definitely a vintage picture. I backed it onto um, cardstock, cut it out sort of like in a tag shape. And then I attached this little charm on here. It's a little star. And then that tucks in there. And here is a little craft envelope. And I got these little envelopes from my friend Danny. And um, inside is a little off cut. But you can write a little note in there. And then also, you know, put whatever else you want into the envelope. And then I just a little layering of some different crocheted laces. And then a vintage button on the top or in the middle. And here's the middle of the signature. And with this paper, I don't think you'd be able to journal on it, but it would be a nice to, um, place to put like a collage, like little picture collages or something like that. And then here, so I have another off cut for journaling. And it's tucked behind this little tiny glassine bag, again, that I got from Alicia. And then in the bag here, I just have some little places to journal on or little things in there and then I just did a little layering with some of the paper from the what I used and there's that and this here um, it looks like a little envelope I put a little flowery thing because I thought it sort of matched the circles but when you open it up it's a place to journal I don't know there you, there you go you can see it like that but then it closes up and it kind of looks like an envelope so I thought that was a little cool. And of course, these things, if you want to actually glue them into the book too, you can absolutely do that. I left them clipped, so that way it would give you a choice. And I love this one. He looks like, or she looks like, they're modeling. <laughs> and then I stuck a little tag in there. And here we have, I can never get these, oh, there you go. Um, the three the three dogs and it's a floating pocket and inside again some more paper and a little dog another little print out of the dog and of course has room to put other things inside and that can clip that really can clip anywhere you want and this is also, again, like the other flip, except this one flips down, and then you can journal behind there. And then it just flips back up. And I also, um, oh, I sewed on the bottom, and then I glued on some of the crocheted lace. And here's another. I just did a little layering there. And these are little Tim Holtz die cuts. But this flips up, and this flips down for some more journaling. Or, you know, you could do, you could put pictures in there and then kind of close it up, keep it up. Even if you wanted to, you could put a little paper clip here because this is open. It's only glued here and here. So if you want to keep some stuff in there and then just clip the side, absolutely you can do that. And then here's this one. I think that might be French on the bottom. There's a little doggy. And this is another one of those little 
pockets so I put a little fabric flower there a vintage button in the middle and then it opens for some more secret journaling or whatever else you want to do in there right back there and here's another pretty little dog and I love the red <clears throat> excuse me I love the red flowers there here is a Tim Holtz die cut vintage button some crocheted lace and then this here you can just journal here put picture whatever you want but it also serves as a little tuck spot and this one I just glued this down on two sides and some more paper to journal on and then I love this image and I think this is that same dog that was in the previous one but here's if you can see the date on it, it's 1885 now granted this is a copy it's not an original picture but I just thought it was super cute so so yep yeah. so that tucks right back in there and here we have I love this image it's so like I don't know vintagey looking I really like it um, but it flips up and here is a little notepad and then the back is blank and I, I did sew the paper as you can see into the pad and then tucks right back up in there and then here is the back and then this is the fluffy little guard dog that guards the back door so this is my little project share um, I do hope you like it so please let me know and for everybody else thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video bye